Girl Scout cookie sales will begin on Sunday, February 9th and will go until March 2nd. Cookies can be purchased after each service at all locations. Are you seriously dating or recently engaged? Join Mount Zion's premarital classes beginning on February 25th for an eight week long course at our Antioch location. For more information, contact the Marriage Ministry at marriageministry at mountzionnashville.org. In our daily lives, we make many decisions. Life is made up of choices that may seem insignificant at the time, but add up and affect our lives in the biggest ways, like the health of your heart. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Making the right choices can reduce your risk. Choose to see your doctor. Choose fresh, not fried. Choose to walk. Choose to live. Make the choice to beat heart disease at GoRedForWomen.org. Meg Evers was the first field secretary for the Mississippi NAACP. So Meg's role was to come in and to organize all 82 counties in the state of Mississippi, setting up NAACP chapters, getting people registered to vote, uh, taking complaints of the, what people were telling him that was happening to uh, people in the state. Race relation at that time was not good. And after he witnessed the uh, lynching of his father's friend, he was hurt, of course. He could not understand why it was that way. He enlisted when he was 16. Uh, and he served his country. And he said, as he traveled about, he said, it didn't matter about the color of my skin until I came back home to uh, Mississippi. On his 21st birthday, he and a group of other veterans tried to register to vote. And he said they were turned around about men with shotguns. So Mega, at that point, began documenting what people were telling him. And the NAACP asked him if he would become field secretary. Mega was going outside of Mississippi, raising monies, and talking to people how it was here. So the change was coming, and uh, those who were against what was happening could see it. And people were saying, Meg Evers, your days are numbered, because he had rallied the young people. And he was making people aware of what your rights are for simply being a citizen of this country. Hey, this is Bishop Walker, and I'm excited about what's getting ready to happen on February the 22nd. Mark your calendars for the Relationship Summit. Yes, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, bring people together, whether they're married, single, thinking about it, engaged, divorced, whatever your situation, we're going to talk real talk about relationships. It's going to happen February 22nd, 10 o'clock a.m., Saturday morning. And guess who's coming? To be my special guest. I'm so excited. My friend Devon Franklin and his wife, Megan Good. They're coming to the Mount Zion Church Saturday morning, February 22nd, 10 o'clock. Don't meet me there, beat me there.
How you doing? It's Devon. And Megan. And we are so excited to be coming for the Relationship Summit. When Bishop Walker and Dr. Steph asked us to come out to encourage married couples as well as singles, you know we had to say yes. So say yes and come be with us on Saturday, February 22nd, the Old Hickory location. And get there at 10 a.m. sharp. You may want to get there early to make sure you get a seat. We can't wait to see you. God has a blessing in store for you. For more information regarding today's announcements, visit MountZionNashville.org and click the What's Happening tab. Or go mobile and download Mount Zion mobile app for media, news, and more.